So here's the last video in the series of developing Instagram templates in Affinity Designer. Now this one's how to design a square video Instagram post template in Affinity Designer. When you're putting a post on Instagram, the best format is the square shape, 920 by 920. And the video is the same size. Now you can put a video on there in different sizes, but if you want to see it all on the page, 920 by 920 is a, um, a good method. There's my phone ringing there. A template in Affinity Designer that features a mix of layouts you can use to create an Instagram post and make it a video. Now this is very short by design because I've just done two other templates of much the same thing. So I'll step through this one fairly quickly. And if you do get lost, um, go and have a look at the other ones. Now starting with one template, you can create many designs. And the sample post layouts here are on separate panels. They're actually artboards. I use two different fonts, PT Serif and Lato Heavy, uh, Light and Medium Italic, I think it is. Each artboard is 920 by 920 pixels to match the dimensions of an Instagram post. Now, if you have a look at the other one, it's a different size because it's a story um, 1080 by 1920. And the story posts are different sizes. This is not a story, this is a single post format, but I'm going to put it into a video, put the slides into a video so you can change it anytime you like. Now we'll start with making your own. Let's make a preset in Affinity so that you can come back to it any time you like. You can make as many as you like. Do one per season. Summer, autumn, winter and spring. Do one each month. January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, October, November and December. There we go, counting off the months. Okay, but it should be 920 by 920, 300 dpi, transparent background and artboard. Select all those options there. Press OK to create the new document. And there it is. You can see the document clearly. The default name is Artboard 1. Okay, let's add some more artboards. We actually need six of them. That's numbered 0 through to 5. Now this is the Instagram post size. Tap the Documents command and select Artboards. The Context Toolbar appears down the bottom there. And now these are your exact size artboards. Next, tap the plus sign five times. Insert Artboard to automatically create the next five artboards. When you're finished you can minimize the whole thing. Now if you're wondering about this, it's on the iPad, not the desktop. Works just as well on the desktop. I happen to like using the iPad, um, so I continue to do so. Now, name the artboards. This is a bit of a slow process, but never mind. One at a time, and it's worth it in the end. And this becomes important when you're doing the export part. Now, the names can take a moment to actually change. You might even have to exit the document and come back in. Sometimes they change, sometimes they don't. Maybe that's just my iPad. Anyway, rename all six. You can see them there. The title card 00 through card 1 down to card 5. Now, create the simple artwork. Each of the panels has clear artwork. It has to be easily readable and have visual impact. You're going to put these images into a video editor to make a postable Instagram post. Even on their own, you don't want the works of Shakespeare in there because nobody will be able to read it. It won't be there long enough. I have this same tutorial, as I mentioned, in two other videos, one for designer and one for publisher. So I'll only put the layer details in each of these for you to follow. This is the full layout for a start. If you want the detail, I suggest having a look at the other videos. They only take a few minutes each. Um, if you don't have Publisher, fine, stick with Designer. Um, the other one is Designer, it's on the iPad too. Now there's Title Card Zero. And you can see in the Layers panel there, particularly if you're reading this on a desktop, 
It'll be hard to read on an iPad, unfortunately, but if you put it on your desktop, have a look at it on your desktop, you'll be able to see the layers panel and what's in them. Card 1. Simple text, simple design. And the layers there for card 1 are all clearly defined there. Card 2. And the layers panel, setting everything out. Card 3 setting everything out. You can see from this that I'm actually trying to promote um, in, in a fairly casual way my YouTube channel. Um, this is an idea that I've been working on just as I've been going along with this um, particular tutorial. So if it looks a bit off scale, don't worry. That's up to you to make yours look absolutely perfect. Card 4 there's three images there. Fine, photo fine tuning, the mysteries explained. That's all you want. Remember with Instagram you're putting ideas across, getting messages across. You could have anything on these slides from political messages through to camping in the sunshine. There's card number five. That's the, actually the sixth physical card if you like. Now what we do with those cards is collect them together in one place. And I use Apple Photos for that. I've exported them or share them into Apple Photos from the iPad. It just goes straight in. No messing about. I'm going to use LumaFusion on the iPad. Now LumaFusion is um, a video editing software package. It's not an app. It's more than an app. It's very complex. It's almost as it's almost as good as, as um, Final Cut Pro or iMovie or, or um, any of the Adobe ones. I'm going to use LumaFusion on the iPad to collect them and create a nice little one-to-one -one aspect ratio 15 second video that I can post to Instagram. You may have other options for your video editing but I find this one the easiest. And you can see on the right hand side there where I've got each of the images in a row there. They're, um, they've got purpley coloured background um, transitions between them which you'll see in a moment. You can see the you can see the first slide and you can see the second side slide and between them there are transitions. Don't just flick across the sides. You give a transition. I'll show you that now. And this will, if nothing else, give you some great ideas of what you can do with Affinity Designer. And there's the video playing. You can post that to your Instagram feed and that's exactly how it'll look on Instagram. Very nice. Very professional. And I'm sure you're itching to have a go at it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Click the like, that's the big thumbs up, and tap the bell so you're reminded of future videos. Thanks again.